Hi folks and welcome along to another Sonic Academy Tech Tip with myself, Phil Johnson, and our best buddy in the entire universe, Chris Agnelli. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I was trying to think of like delectable or uh, no, but no. just <laughs> you're just not as good as me. I know. Really? You're, just, you're such the better presenter. And you're much the better tech tip person. Um okay, so in this one we're going to be taking a look at controller mapping in uh logic specifically. What's it called? Quick smart smart controls. S smart controls. Yeah. Um and assigning them to Anna. So uh go for it. Go for it. Right. Well if we uh if we open a logic instrument in uh and use smart controls. These are all pretty well defined with, you know, things, parameters that you would always use. They've got nice few boxes as well. Well, you can change all, I mean, that's all, uh, you can change. Let's oh, isn't it really nice? that's pretty nice. So you can have up to 12, Phil. Uh, we do have an in-depth look at uh, smart controls on the site. If you go to my, I think when Logic Pro came out, I went through everything, all the new features in depth. Can you create your own custom ones? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the With your knobs and stuff? Not, you have a, you just have like sort of electronic drums. You have these sort of defined uh, generic styles. Yeah. Like that's a Marshall. But yeah. So and they've all got eight knobs, do they? No, up to 12. Up to 12. Eight, eight, 12. And if you don't, if there's things that are on map, they, they hide knobs. So. Cool. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so let's go to just sort of, is there gen generic black? No, we don't like that. There we go. So we want to look at specifically Anna. This was a problem I was encountering. Every time we opened up an Anna, uh, I wanted to use smart controls, and it wasn't particularly uh, good at doing it. So let's create a software instrument. And let's drop Anna in. And there you go. We've got, you know, Pitch bend range, port of time, oscillator voices, not particularly useful parameters. We might want to change that. So let's define uh, our smart controls. We hit the learn button. Uh, this pot turned red to let us know it's in learn mode. And we just go click on uh, the parameter we want to map and cut off. You know, you have all seen this loads of times. So it's cut off two. You know, we want res of what filter one and two. Want even things like reverb, dry and wet. Sorry, we want that res. We want that dry and wet. And this one, something like you know LFO <coughs> depth. And Phil, uh, like Ableton, we yes, can we can assign several parameters to the one pot. That's very handy indeed. Yeah. So odd mapping, and we can. This is unmapped. We can go and select the feature. So say we want uh, filter one res. So this would be cool for sort of modulating stuff that, um, you know, if you, that this synth can't do, you know, say multiple filters together, you can, you know, ha have your filter and your reverb coming up at the same time or. Yeah, so. so that's and is there any other sort of m ways to modulate those smart controls other than using your own hands if it, as it were you know like is there any lfo things that send to smart controls or anything like no, that? no no it's, it's it's either you can uh this you can assign them to external controllers or just have them here on a, on a pot yeah so there's the two you can see there's the res and the filter going up through the one pot there mm. you go and that you know that res we want to maybe invert so yes yeah. that's cool there you go so the problem is if we this doesn't save. To try and save this is a bit of a convoluted process. You right, okay. think that you could go and save that setting for Anna. Yeah. So when you call up Anna, that is... But it doesn't. Time. No, it doesn't. So we have to we have to go around a bit of a convoluted process and go to library. Yeah. And you have to kind of understand how library works. We have several different types of libraries here. We have channel strips, which everybody's aware of. Mm -hmm. We have sound libraries. So within Anna, we can build up our own user library here. And then we have patch library. Right. And patch library is what we want it to use. And you see when I hover here, you get a wee triangle. I do, yes. So I want to define there. Ah, so I see. So this is, we're now in patch library, and this is where this will save. So if we go to save, and we go to say, Anna Smart. So now 
created user patches and Anna Smart Controls are now saved. So if I go and change this to EFM, yep. and if I now go back to Anna, now if I load Anna from here, it's the old Smart Controls. Yeah. But if I click up here and go to User Patches, and there's... Very cool. There's the... the, the uh, Smart controls saved for you, so so that's pretty handy, um, and that'll work with uh, all sort of third-party synths well, so, and, so and you, plugins. Yeah, and so if you've got a, a smart control that you always use, you save it as a patch. It, it's a bit. It took me a while to find that, so it was a bit of a convoluted process. You would have thought that they would have had saved smart control, so you could call it up at any stage. But there you go. Make sure that this it, this top one is highlighted because this is saving as a different thing. This That's just saving your standard sort of sound. This sound, is saving yeah. a patch. Will that uh, save save it as a patch as well, or is that just saving all the sort of channel settings? Well, and if, if we go to here, we now if we load this patch, it'll load Anna and yeah. There you go. But it's not loading the particular preset in Anna. Well, let's or see if it will. So if we go to Techno B feeder, right? Yeah. We hit save and a smart. I haven't tested this and we're about to. So we'll load that. That's a default. Load that in space. So we'll save the preset as well. That's, that's handy. So you could theoretically have a preset for pads, a preset for bass, a preset for strings that yeah. have particular smart relevant controls. smart controls mapped. Very cool. So there we go. Good tech tip on Logic Control or Logic Pro X smart controls for Anna. Um, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.